Hello, hello, hello there. It's me, Mr. Morrison, giving you directions, because that's what I like to do. Sorry, kind of lost it there at the end. I did my best. Don't judge me. Okay, here are directions for uh, today's reading. Okay, Today we are covering Castle in the Attic, chapter 11. Okay, chapter 11, we're in the double-digit chapters now. I guess we were on 10 as well, but don't... Don't judge me on that. Jeez. Okay, so we're on chapter 11 now. Um, and now we have, remember, William has been shrunk down. Okay. And he's him and the Sir Simon are about ready to go off on their quest. And in this chapter, they leave on their quest to save the kingdom and everyone involved with it. Okay. So we're focusing on setting today. But the first thing you should do, obviously, is read chapter 11. So first thing, read chapter 11. Watch me. Read it independently. Your choice. And then what you're going to do is this castle in the attic, chapter 11, setting the dark forest assignment. Okay. So it's going to open up when you open it. This slides show. Okay. Castle in the attic, chapter 11. Okay. Now, we made a map right here uh, for you. From to kind of show the setting for this chapter and the places we travel. Okay, now you notice there's one location here and another location here. Now I'm asking you first to label what are these two? What were the two settings that we were in in this chapter? We were just at this one at the very beginning, and then they we spent most of the chapter in this setting. Okay, so this kind of gives you an idea of you know, their quest, their expedition. Now, if you're watching these directions, um, what you're going to see is that I'm going to go ahead and tell you the answers to these because I know you're watching the directions, so you know what to do. Okay, So this is your reward for making sure to watch those directions. So here, what is this setting? Well, that's the castle. That's the, that's the castle. So, you know, and it's the magical castle. It's William's castle. Now they're just shrunk down to it. So you can just label what is the setting here. You can label that the castle. Okay. And then what is this setting? Because they go on the expedition in this chapter. They go on a travel and they end up in the forest. So they end up in this forest. So you can go ahead and label this one here. What is this setting? This is the forest. Okay. I'm giving it to you. You can just write it down. Castle, forest. Castle, forest. All right. It takes place in the summer. That's why we say summer up here. Okay, So you can go ahead and label that. Now, and again, this forest is no ordinary forest. And this is where they're going to spend most of the chapter. Okay? So let's take a look at the actual activity and what we're doing here today. So the directions say, We spend most of chapter 11 in the setting of the forest. However, this is no ordinary forest. And you're going to find that out as you read this chapter. Your objective is to draw a scene or a picture from the from the inside of this spooky forest. So what does it look like on the inside of this spooky forest? So your picture needs to include these things. It needs to capture the mood of the forest. So for instance, you know, I said, is it a bright and cheery place? Hint, it is not. Okay, I'm, I'm calling it, I've been calling it the spooky forest. So kind of, you need to capture that mood of spookiness um, in your drawing, okay? Things just aren't quite right. They're a little scary in this forest, in this setting. So you want to show that. Okay. Now, you should also, I want to have three specific details from the chapter drawn and labeled in your picture. So what do we mean there? So throughout the chapter, they talk about different things that uh, William and Sir Simon see. It could be different animals. It could be different locations. It could be different plants they see. All that, different things that they see in this chapter. Okay. I want you to draw and label three of those things. So, for instance, if they saw a scary owl, they saw a scary owl, you can draw a scary owl in your picture and then label it scary owl, if that's what they, something they saw. Okay. So, draw three of those specific things and make sure they are labeled as well. Your picture does also need to be in color. So, make sure your picture is in color. And you should use your best effort. We're not looking for like, oh, just an easy way to, okay, just put something on paper. No, we, as always, we are looking for your best effort here. 
So for your picture, you may draw it, and you can do it by hand on a piece of paper. So you can get a piece of paper, and you can draw and color it yourself. You want to do it by hand if you're feeling artistic. Maybe you wanted to use crayons. Maybe you wanted to use colored pencils. Maybe you wanted to use. Maybe you wanted to paint it. You can do any of those options, right? To paint a scene from the spooky forest. Um, you could also draw it with storyboard that. So if you wanted to go create a big storyboard that picture showing a scene and use those tools, you can do that. Um, or you can use another online drawing tool. So maybe that you feel really comfortable with Google Drawing or Google Canvas or something else, and you think you can draw it and create it, your picture, your drawing on the, that digital platform, you can do that too. Okay, so you get to choose how you want to do it. What you're going to do is you're going to take a clear picture um, when you are complete and insert it on the next slide. So make sure you, uh, so when I say a clear picture, I know Mrs. Suits talked to you about that with your artwork, right? I have to be able to see it. You need good lighting, okay? And I need to be able, we need to be able to see everything on your picture. So don't make it a folded page. Don't make it in the dark. Don't make it a fuzzy picture. We want a good quality picture. And on this third slide, you're going to insert that picture, okay? So when I look at it here, if I pull it up, I should have a good quality picture with all of your labels and everything in your best effort. It should be right there. Okay. And then you will submit this assignment when we are done. So again, objective is to recreate the setting of the forest, of the spooky forest from this chapter. And again, capturing the mood of the forest, having three specific details from the chapter drawn and labeled in your picture, should be in color, should use your best effort. You can do it by hand, you can do it on start with that, you can use an online drawing tool, but you have to take a good picture, Put it on this slide. That's in a nutshell. That's the gist of it. What we're doing here. Okay. So again, but you make sure that you read chapter eleven first, so you know what you're talking about there. And then when you're done, make sure you submit it, so you can get credit for it. All right. If you have questions after watching my video, then just let me know, and I can help you out.